we're expecting is just exactly what the National Weather Service is telling us. You know, it sounds like conditions could get pretty bad. Uh, but our staff is well trained. We're prepared for these types of events. And so we'll start with staffing. We, we gear up. We already have people on different shifts. But everybody's planning to be here through the weekend. So uh, we'll be staffed 24 hours a day. Uh, as far as equipment, we've been making sure all of our equipment is ready to go, making sure everything's working properly. We've been hanging some front plows on the trucks uh, with the anticipation of either large amounts of snow or snow drifts that we might have to move. We have all the supplies we need. So as far as uh, salt, we're fully stocked with salt. And uh, we also use uh, liquids, so we're fully stocked with our liquids as well. The next thing is we would like to just let the public know to give us some room, give us some time, be patient with us. It's going to be, a, sounds like it could be a lot of snow and uh, it's going to take some time to get it taken care of. Everything is prioritized. We have our first attention routes that we'll be on. Through the majority of the storm, we want to make sure they, those stay open and as we're able, we'll get into the neighborhood streets. And uh, during that time, especially during the storm, we won't use a lot of salt, if any. Uh, there'll be some critical areas. For instance, Michigan Hill will definitely make sure it's salted and uh, keep that open. But for the most part, we'll, we'll conserve on salt until the storm is done. And, uh, then we'll come back and do all of our cleanup and opening up the roads with the salt and the liquids.